Amigos, welcome back to our channel, Atrocities Upon City, where today you'll be seeing overgrown California lawns. And you can tell some of these out here are just front yards already. They don't have lawns, they have weeds growing in. We've been here a couple months before, but everything looks great out here. You can tell that the weeds have been getting taller, and it's easier for Paola to pull them. And I'll go by and weed whack the areas that need to be weed whacked. You'll be hula hoeing and pre-raking for us. And then I'll make sure that I do all the extras that need to be done. You know, she goes ahead and finesses before me, I finesse after her. We just go back and forth making sure that we double check each other and like that everything looks great sometimes i miss areas and sometimes she does too so we keep having each other's back at these jobs you can tell this lawn only grows because of the water right here the wind passes right through and you'll see how the weeds get a closer view of them between the rugs you could tell that all the mulch already flied away this is why mulch in california you cannot even use it so this is paola pulling a weed um you know you go ahead and you pull the weeds you got to make sure you have gloves and everything's pretty good like that you know you give it a couple tugs loosen up the the root and boom you can see how long the root was at least three four inches so that's what happens out here it grows right in areas that the paper wasn't added to and you could tell right there again it came out right where the in between the sidewalk and the paper just from years you know so there it is fellas that's what it looks like when it's done we raked everything twice we hula hoed it and i do a final touch with the rake i make lines to make sure sideways up and down anything like that to give it such a good curb appeal but lawns like out here we don't have lawns fellas so this is why i can't buy a brand new motor or anything like that we have a good honda commercial but you know you can see how straight those rakes look so we'll go on to different lawns out here and how overgrown they get and what it takes to make sure that we keep cleaning them out here and why we go and always offer decomposed granite for people and why we think it's the future you could tell out here everybody takes out their lawns and water is pretty expensive the, the sun is hot it's windy in this area right here you could tell we took everything out already weed whacked it paola already went by and picked up the piles that i had made i weed whacked and blew you could tell catchy cans out here always helping he's just like a worker you know he carries the load so that's let's go into a quick hyperlapse of another home Amigos, there you go. All we use is TMC products out here. We got the Wee Whacker, we got the Hedger, and we got the Blower. All three of them have a Kawasaki engine and a different model. You know, we love them. We've been using them for three, four years, and before that, maybe four or five years six seven years ago i used to use them with other gardeners so they've been around but you could tell what we did out here brought everything back hedged it all up paola's gonna get rid of the piles clean everything up for me like always if it wasn't for her none of these jobs would get done i mean i could drop everything but if she doesn't pick it up as fast as she does we wouldn't get nowhere look at how nice and tapered this is and we continue to the house show you the front yard and what it looks like everything's nice and green you guys see the progression down here still looking nice so we'll show you the back the back is a hummingbird zone you know even if paola's blowing or whatever she's doing you you can see all the hummingbirds flying everywhere so it's great being out here we're going to give her a bit to go ahead and clean up all these areas see what it takes to get to get it nice and different things that you'll see out here in Aspen, california and different cities that we go by and to the houses that we do we've dropped down to a couple this year we can see right here 
same thing, rose bushes. You can tell the, the difference in color. Some are extra and some are dry already. So we cut all the dry ones, let the other ones bloom another week, and we'll come back next week and we'll see it like this one, ready to bloom again, ready to keep going. And that's what you see out here, fellas. If you lightly keep pruning on these um, rose bushes, they will bloom all year in California, even in the winter. So it's okay. We love it out here. You know, sometimes these guys don't even go dormant in the last couple years. It's kind of weird, but hey, that's what you get. They'll go dormant for about two, three weeks and then they'll start re-sprouting again. It's crazy what the weather change does. Before they'd go to sleep all winter, but not, not anymore. So let's go another home. You know how we do it out here. Everything's nice and green. We dropped down to 13 homes this year, but we've always had 20 and about four years ago we had 80. So it's okay. You know, now with these 10, we're making a good amount. It's paying the rent. So that's what we search for. Everything else, you guys see how much we work with decomposed granite, how we attack these overgrown cleanups that we see out here in California. And we go from there, fellas. We'll go blowing another home out here that we have. We'll show you what it does. You know, so there it is, fellas. Nice and green. Everything's going nice we've been coming out here for the whole year we got this house this year we'll see how long we can keep them but we have homes for up to six years that we've had already and we have homes that we've had just this year so we'll see how many years they can survive with us we're pretty expensive and we do everything that it takes you can see if it wasn't for the watering of this home we probably wouldn't be as green he waters about four times a day 5 a.m 10 a.m 3 p.m and about 7 p.m sometimes he comes out here with his water hose and waters again so hey if he wants to pay the water bill go ahead we love to have the grease the green grass so it's great for us and it's great for him look at the nice pool he's got some life for the party so we come out here and get it ready for him you know thanks for everybody that watches there you see amigos